Now, a good password manager is gonna do a couple of things really, really simply in your business, and it's gonna make it easy for you and your team. The most important thing a password manager will do is let you generate a unique password for every application that you use in your business. Why do you not use Google's password manager? So Google have recently released a password manager. It lives in Chrome. It works on your mobile phone as well. And there's other alternatives out there. Apple have their own password manager that they've been pushing quite a lot lately. If you're using iOS, you probably would have been prompted to use that too. Now, we use a password manager for business. In our primary business, we use LastPass. And there are also many other alternatives that are available as well. There's KeyPass, there's Keeper, there's One Password, there's NordVPN have their own password manager now. There's lots of alternatives on the market. And we get a lot of trouble. We get a lot of flack from using LastPass because we have been a partner with them for a long time. However, they had some pretty serious security incidents and they made some mistakes that they shouldn't have as a security focused company. Now I've covered why we're sticking with LastPass in other videos, but the short of it is when we looked at the alternatives out there on the market to move away from LastPass, we weren't really impressed enough to switch because there were features that we would lose that we were satisfied that LastPass had and the other competitors didn't really line up to or didn't really match up to. But that's not the answer to this question and I'll save further discourse on LastPass for other videos. Why don't we use Google's password manager and why don't we use Apple's password manager either? Well, that really comes down to convenience for our team and the features that we're looking for in a password manager. Now, a good password manager is gonna do a couple of things really, really simply in your business and it's gonna make it easy for you and your team. The most important thing a password manager will do is let you generate a unique password for every application that you use in your business. So from time to time, re used passwords, right? You know, we sign up Facebook and then we sign up for Google and we want to remember our password to type in. So we choose a word that we like and maybe it's our dog's name and then one, two, three, and then it says, oh no, you have to have a character. So we add, you know, an hashtag on the, on the end of it, right? That's one way of doing passwords. But when we have literally hundreds of websites that we access and we reuse the password, well, that makes it very easy for someone to get access to our accounts and to our digital life. The reason for that being one of those sites is compromised, which is kind of inevitable with the number of websites that we access and the number of hackers that are out there exploiting different sites. And once someone has got access to your password in one place, they just need to try that password in all the other places that you've entered it. And eventually they're probably gonna to start to get into some of your important accounts. Someone can take command of your digital life, potentially start to get access to bank accounts, potentially start to get access to business funds, and you can run into some real trouble once someone has control of your identity and your online world. So a password manager solves that simple problem by generating a unique password for every site that you access, storing them in a secure vault, and with that secure vault, allowing your passwords to be automatically filled every time you access one of these websites. So that means that you've got a unique password for every site. But okay, Google can do that. Apple can do that with their password managers. Why am I still not using them? Well, a team-based or a business password manager does a few more extra things that make them really cool. Number one is they allow you to share your passwords or share access to your passwords to other members on your team. Now that might be a staff member that's working inside your business and you need to share access to an application that doesn't have different accounts for different users. It might be something like Canva, maybe three people in the business need to use it, but you're only using it from time to time. And so you don't wanna pay for three licenses. You just wanna pay for one license and share that login with multiple people. Now that's totally fine in my opinion, but you wanna share that login in a safe way. Well, using a password manager for business that allows you to share access to passwords lets somebody else pre-fill that login on their computer without having to know the actual password. It will let them log into a website, but it won't expose the underlying password. And that's a good thing for everyone involved. Now, if they really wanted to, let's say, steal that account from you, right? They can log into the account, change the email address and disappear with that account. So if you're sharing passwords with contractors or someone outside your business, you've got to be careful what kind of apps you're sharing. It's not a foolproof way of stopping people from accessing accounts or running off with them if they really want to. But it is a foolproof way of keeping passwords out of plain text and stopping you from sharing passwords across different websites, which will inevitably lead to someone getting access to your systems. So that's a really useful feature for sharing, but what about 
management tools. Now, as you grow a business, you end up with lots of different applications in your business and lots of different access to different tools. And you may want to let certain groups of staff access certain tools and some maybe not others, right? So where a business password manager comes into play is enforcing what login or authentication protocols must be used for different apps that your team are using. If you want to enable a policy to actually switch off the built-in password manager inside of Google Chrome and force your team to use a particular password manager. These business managers, you can roll out via a policy and have them appear in someone's Google Chrome. And you can have group-based permissions, which we strongly recommend and promote business owners use for teams where you're sharing resources so that you don't have everyone just accessing things willy-nilly or you don't need to share things on a one-on-one -on -one basis with your team. And so using group-based permissions means that you can set up a group, set up staff, add them to the right group, where they only have permission to the files or the credentials for the websites that you have designated that group has access to. So we love LastPass for that because it's got lots of robust features for folder management and it gives people different levels of access as well. Now, I'm not saying that LastPass is the only solution that does that. LastPass were the leaders for many years, but due to the security issues that they had a couple of years ago, many competitors have caught up with other features. So I don't think LastPass is necessarily the only option these days. It's the one that we've continued to stick with because they've made great improvements in the security of their firm. For some people, they said, you know what, at the end of the day, LastPass was inexcusable, the issues that they've had, and they've rightfully so moved on to other solutions, which we don't mind at all. We're, of course, a reseller for multiple solutions, and we're able to help any small business get the solution that they need. We love LastPass, but we make sure that any business, no matter what software you choose, is at least storing passwords safely and securely so that you don't run into any unintended security issues for your business. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.